Do you know that the light bulb can save you from explosions on your workbench? Stick around to learn how. This video is sponsored by Altium Designer. Altium is the leading PCB design software in the world that empowers engineers and hobbyists like me through the entire PCB design process from schematic to PCB layout and to design documentation. With its native 3D PCB design environment and the integration with MKET, every design change stays in sync with your team without the need to swap different files or work separately on the appearance of your final product. With more than 35 years of electronic design expertise, Altium Designer can meet all of today's design challenges and you can try it for free today by visiting the link in the description. Hi everyone, my name is Bill and the device that I want to talk about today is this one. So, as you can see, this is a dimbal tester and the sole purpose of this device is that it protects any device that you are working on, specifically if you are making a repair. So we all know that when working on a repair, the worst thing that we can do with the device is actually cause a short, or uh, maybe the device, when we got the device, maybe it already had the short inside. We replaced some of the components, we did some work to it, and now we want to try it. So the problem happens when we plug that device and we've mistakenly left some of the problems inside. And now when we plug it in, we are basically faced with a short that almost always ends up with an explosion on the workbench. I'm guilty of a few of those myself. So I decided to build this device so I can make sure that it never happens again to me. And now let's jump to the workbench so I can show you how this device is built and how it operates. To make this device, I used just a regular uh, light bulb. I used the light socket and also I used one of these sockets that have an on off switch. That switch is not necessary. So basically you can find any plug and do the same thing. To learn how this thing works, I'll show you the schematic of it. As you can see in the inside of the of the socket, when I opened it, one of the plugs, one of the prongs goes directly to the output and the other one goes through the switch and then through the output. So you can basically turn on and off any appliance that is uh, plugged into the socket. And this switch will do exactly that. For the purposes of this device, I wired the light bulb across the switch. So what that means is this now this socket is always live. So when we plug it in, there will be always voltage that comes out, even if the switch is turned off. And we want that so we can use this bulb as a resistor. Basically, the idea is that whatever device we have plugged in that is under test, we are current limiting that device through the bulb. And this is really important if we want to prevent any explosions or if we want to prevent anything uh, going bang on us or making even more damage on the device. I'll do a little demo circuit so I can show you. The idea behind it is that if we test the device and we see that it operates normally, then we can bypass the light bulb. And now it works as if this light bulb doesn't even uh, exist because we have a direct par uh, direct path for the current to go through. With the switch off, the current must go through the light bulb and that is what is protecting our devices. Now, let me set up the, the circuit here and we'll go through how, how the whole thing behaves. And here is the entire setup. You can see that everything is now turned off. We have the power coming in and it's turned off. And that goes through the tester, through the light bulb, and it powers on this power adapter. Um, I mean, it's not perfect for this explanation, but you will get the point on, on what this device can prevent us from happening and prevent us from doing. This whole setup is basically ideal for when we are working with um, any AC appliances, any audio amplifiers, any devices that can draw a lot of current if in a fault state for that we're gonna just simulate this uh this fault state of this appliance and i'll go now turn it on 
and you'll see that it starts operating as normal. This is a little timer that I have made with an AT Tiny that's being powered through this adapter. So before doing any of this, make sure that you know what you're doing and make sure that you are dealing with live voltage. This area here is under live voltage and you can see that I've done something really sketchy that we are usually not doing on the bench. So we, you want to always protect uh, any open AC voltage on the bench. But for the purposes of this demonstration, the very worst case scenario that you can have on the bench or with the appliance is that appliance being shorted out. So I'll use my screwdriver. This is isolated screwdriver. So I'm being safe here and I'll intentionally uh, short out the leads here at the adapter simulating a fault with the, with the device that we're testing. And we'll see that what's going to happen because the current now goes through the light bulb, even though it's not turning on, the amount of current that goes through there is really low. So when I short out the, uh, the leads, you see that the worst that happens is it turns on the light bulb, meaning that now the light bulb is taking all of the excess current and nothing explodes. Uh, we can do the same thing here. So let's try to do the same with the alligator clip here. And you know that this can really happen on your workbench if you're not careful. Now we are simulating a really dead short on the appliance and you see that the, the light bulb now, the light bulbs lights with the full intensity and it, uh, basically prevents any explosions. The important thing here to note is that because this switch uh, will short out the bulb, if we have the switch in the on position, if the light here lights up, then any short in the device will actually cause an explosion. So be aware of that and always use the tester with the light bulb in line. And if, for example, you want to uh, now test the device with the full current that it can uh, handle, then only then press this button. So that's why I made sure to have the uh, inscription here and to properly mark this so no one mistakes this as a regular outlet. Another cool feature with this tester is that you can basically um, identify and approximate the amount of current that goes into the device. So you saw that with the adapter that we had, there was no glow on the light bulb. So basically very little current was passing through the adapter. And now I have my hot glue gun uh, plugged in into the tester, and this is still in the off position. So it means that the hot glue gun will be powered through the light bulb. And if I turn it on, you'll see that now the light glows dimly, meaning that now we are pulling in a lot more current with the hot glue gun than uh, we were pulling with the adapter. So that can give you an overview of how much current your device is pulling in. And if we now want to uh, provide the full current to the device, we can just bypass the light bulb and now uh, the hot glue gun is powered as if plugged in directly into the outlet. And if we want to return it in test with the light bulb, we just switch off here and now all of the current is forced to pass through the light bulb. This whole setup is also really handy when it comes to working with transformers. Um, like this one here, this one is a transformer that I've pulled out from some old equipment. I haven't tested it. so. When I want to try and identify what the primary winding is and what the output uh, voltages of this transformer are, I'll, I'm gonna connect it through this uh, light bulb tester. So in case I miss on the winding or in case if that winding is shorted out, I don't get an explosion, but I'll see the light bulb lighting up instead of uh, having a short circuit and having breakers uh, dropping. This little device can help me out so I am safer when I'm working with, uh, with AC. That being said, make sure to always take your precautions when working with AC and 
If you like this video, then be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.